On a ground angle today, a young student of renewable energy has returned to his home country, Cameroon, after studying in Italy. Bolivia Wakam is training other young people in Batu Farm, a community in the western part of the country, on how to install and maintain solar panels. The objective is to light up his community. In streets once sliding in darkness, light shines in Cameroon's Batu Farm town. A few years ago, this image was surreal. This project is a brainchild of Bolivia Wakam, a young engineer with a focus on renewable energy. Wakam launched a training program focused on packaging, assembly and maintenance of solar panels for young people. This year we worked on a minimal solar power plant to power the multimedia room and afterwards we made a water purification system with a system called a chlorinator. So the learners explained to the local authorities we also worked on a solar lamp called the Aladdin lamp that can feed at least one room or a space of 3 by 3 meters. And we made the Aladdin lamp such that it is possible to enable people to have energy and water. This ambitious project has rekindled hope in the community of Batufam. The program now extends to the entire region with the aim of making Batufam a reference point in the solar field in Cameroon. According to data from the World Bank, only 53% of Cameroon's population of 23 million people have access to electricity. The ultimate goal is to electrify and give drinking water to all African communities and for this we must involve young people who must maintain the structures. Therefore, I have reflected on this initiative which began two years ago. This initiative has attracted many young people, students, technicians come from different parts of the country for training sessions. The Central African country has been focused on hydroelectricity and is now diversifying energy sources to meet green demand. Currently, I am able to size a house, write a project, install the plates, feed even a very large circuit and provide maintenance for a long time. I live in the east and we don't have enough power to light our entire region. More than 80% of the country's electricity comes from hydropower, but the government has been encouraging the use of other renewable sources with solar energy gaining ground. The government hopes its economic vision will transform Cameroon into an emerging economy by 2035 with specific objectives for poverty eradication. Children will be able to learn and families will be safe from various diseases. Even the health sector will benefit because if in our health centers we constantly have light, this will shelter us from many things. Light or even solar energy will certainly bring us drinking water, public lighting, which will considerably reduce vandalism and create jobs. I am convinced that it will bring a lot of change. According to the World Bank, nearly 600 million people in sub-Saharan Africa, most of them in rural areas where poverty is high, still lack access to energy and electrification is barely keeping pace with population growth. Très intéressant sujet là, Nako. J'espère que ça peut voilà, concourir au développement. That was a nice piece of work. Nako Kabla. Ce pays, euh, de sa position actuelle, de son classement économique actuel. Certainly. 